Good morning. It is good to see you in the house of the Lord today. Are you glad to be here? Can you just give them a good hand clap of praise? Because we're able to walk, we're able to talk, we're able to worship you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is so good to see you in God's house today. If you don't know who I am, I am Ronald Lee. I'm the pastor of our Church of God. We want to welcome you here today. I want you to make yourself at home. We are following CDC guidelines because whatever anybody's told you, COVID is real. Yeah. We lost one of our one of our loved ones uh, from the church. Went home to be with the Lord last year because of COVID. Uh, Brother Tim was just telling me he was in the hospital for a week with COVID. Um, so we're following CDC guidelines. I hope you brought your your worship with you and you want to get your praise on and worship the Lord because we've got somebody here who's going to help you. Lord will have put COVID out of your mind and put your troubles behind you and help you get your mind on Jesus. We have the Tyners with us all the way from Hartsville, South Carolina. Brother Rick couldn't be with us today. His hip is um, bothering him. We want to pray for him. And the Lord will touch him and bring healing. We have many requests. Um, seems like it's growing all the time. We won't go through all of them because of the sake of time. We want to give the Tyners all the time that we need. Um, we are broadcasting on Facebook, and we're going to be uploading it to YouTube, so you can go back and watch it later on. But um, we do want to remember brother, brother, uh, some family friends of brother um, Joe, the Ed Gunner family lost their brother Ed, and we want to pray for them, that the Lord would comfort them and all those that have been affected by COVID, all those that have other needs. Maybe you've got a need you'd like to make known by the upraised hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. I do want to remind you that after the service today, you don't need to go to um, Shawnee's. You don't need to go to Ryan. Uh, well, there ain't no more Ryan's. You don't need to go anywhere else. we got a barbecue dinner. We're going to have carryout plates available for people. We're going to have, if you want to take it to go, we're going to try to have that available for you. If you want to stay here and eat, we've got things spaced out. We're going to ask that we do honor our seniors first, all of our seniors We'll be giving you some more instructions on that a little bit at the end of, of the service. We're going to ask for our seniors to be able to go and get their plates first and sit down. Those that need assistance, walking or whatever, um, you know who you are and then the rest of us. We have a lot of food and it needs to be ate. <laughs> and so, but we want, to, we want to give the Lord all the time that he needs. So the, the food's going to be in the back. You ain't got to go anywhere. The timers are here. I've already told them, don't worry about the time. We're not having a service tonight, so we can be here. They're used to having long services at church. And uh, so we won't, uh, we won't let God have his way. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody that you have a, a, a need you would just like to make known by the upraised hand? I might have missed somebody. I want to see all these hands. Any um, special needs? Amen. Let's remember them. Also, let me do this to it. This was on my heart earlier today. As we pray for all these needs, I want you to join with me in prayer. The Bible says that if two of you are gathered together in my name and you ask anything for me in my name, I will do it. Amen. How many of you believe Jesus can stop COVID today? Yes. I believe that Jesus can heal people that are in the hospitals. We need to pray for God to comfort folks um, we need, that have lost loved ones because of this pandemic that's going on, this epidemic, this pandemic that's going on. And most of all, we need to pray for God to save souls because there's a lot of people that are on their way to hell yeah. that are in the hospitals. And unless they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they're not going to, they're not going to see an end to all that torment. It's going to continue. And so we need to pray, church. If there are no other requests, let's all stand and go to the Lord in prayer together if you're able. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in the name of your Son, Jesus. Lord, we love you and we praise you. We thank you that we're two or more gathered together in your name. There you are in the midst. Anything we ask you for, you said you'd do it for us. 
Lord God, this is the first time we've been able to gather together and have a dinner since COVID started. This is the first time, Lord God, we've been able to have a singing. And we're so glad to have the timers with us, Lord God. And Father, we pray that you would anoint them and bless them. That you would touch Brother Rick today, God. That you would bring healing to his body. Lord, touch that hip, Lord God. We pray that you would touch Brother Jimmy Whitstone, Lord God. Bring healing to him, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you would touch these needs that have been called out. Those that have been indicated by the upraised hand, Lord God. That you would meet all of our need according to your riches and glory. Lord Jesus, we believe your word. You said we're two or more gathered together in your name. And we ask anything according to your will. You would do it for us, Lord God. Father, we ask that you would bring this COVID-19 to an end, Lord God. That you would stop this pandemic, Lord God. We pray that you would bring healing to those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. We pray that you would comfort those, Lord God, who have lost loved ones because uh, of this disease, Lord God. That you would help those that have side effects from this pandemic to recover from it, Lord God. Father, we pray that you would bless those uh, first responders in the hospitals, Lord God, and the ambulance drivers, Lord, and the doctors and the nurses, Lord. Uh, minister to them and have your way in their lives, Lord God. And Father, we just ask you, Lord God, that your glory would fill this house today. From the top, oh God, to the bottom, Lord. From the front to the back, Lord. We pray that if there's any lost here today, that they would be saved, Lord God. If there's a backslider here today, God, we pray that you would bring them home. Uh, Lord God, we pray that you would sanctify and fill with the Holy Ghost. That one that needs that touch from you. We pray for healing and we pray for encouragement, oh God. Lord, we want you to be God in this house today. Hallelujah. Be God in our lives today, Lord God. Touch our loved ones and minister to every need. And Lord, we'll be ever careful to give you the praise and glory and honor for it all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Can you give the Lord a good hand clap of praise? As they're making their way to the platform, please let me remind you, we have plenty. If you want to take a takeout plate after the service is done, we're going to ask that you go that way. If you want to stay and eat, we're going to ask that you go this way. And we'll go over those again with you later. How about give another hand to my favorite group this morning.
know he's worthy today. If you give him a hand clap of praise, he is worthy. Hallelujah. He inhabits the praise of his people. If you will reach him today, if you will reach up with everything you've got in your worship today, it'll change the situation for you. I promise you that. There's power in praise. There's power in worship. You don't believe me? Ask Paul and Silas. Work for them in a jail cell. Amen. Praise God. And I'm believing God can do the same here today. But it's our job as his children to let him know how much he means to us. To worship him and just usher his presence in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We want to continue with worship. But we want to get... Uh, say thank you first before we get going here for inviting us to come back to be with you all here today. We love y'all. We appreciate you. Thank you for having our family. Um, like he said, my husband's not here today. How many of this is the first time you've been in a service with our family? Maybe you weren't here the last time we were here. All right. I'll take just a minute and introduce them to you because I'll forget if I don't. So my name is Beverly. Everybody calls me Bev. Like I said, my husband's Ricky. This is our daughter, Brooke and our son Noah. We've been in ministry for 21 years. We love Jesus. Amen. That's all I know to say. I don't know how to entertain you. We don't know how to do that. We're just from Hartsville, South Carolina. <laughs> just no country people. But I tell you what, you know how they said about Peter and John. They said they knew they were uneducated men, but they perceived they had been with Jesus. That's all that matters is if you know we've been with Jesus, if the anointing is on our life, and you can recognize that, that's all that matters to us. Amen. Amen. But um, my stepdad, Ricky Tolson, and my mom, Sue Tolson, have traveled with us for years. But now he pastors a church. They're busy doing that. Thank God for them. But he writes a lot of the music that we do in this ministry. This one that we're about to do, we'll do several of those for you today. But this is a worship song he wrote many years back. It says, I will praise you, Lord.
matter what the situation, no matter what's going on, he's still worthy of praise. Amen? Because he's still God. Hallelujah. How many like, um, I say this about everywhere we go, because we, we've learned a long time ago, not everybody likes the same style of music, so we promise to try to have something for everybody today, okay? So how many like, um, like what we've been doing, contemporary praise and worship? All right, we got a few, okay. How about old hymns? They don't get old, amen. How about uh, Southern Gospel? How about Christian Country? How about Christian country? <laughs> I say that because it don't matter what we sing. That's how it's coming out. So we hope you like country. Amen. Um, but we are going to try to mix it up for you. This song right here is an old gospel song um, from years back. If you've been following gospel music a long time, you'll recognize this one. If you know it, sing it with us. It says, I'm going home to be with Jesus. Yeah.
Jesus. Amen. Woo, I feel him up here. Y'all don't feel him out there? Come on up here. We'll make room for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is another one my stepdad wrote. Goes right along with that one. Says, one of these days, I'm going home.
expecting. How about you? Woo, I came expecting something. We know that the Word says He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. That's the God we serve. Amen? Amen. He is good. He is faithful. Listen, it don't matter what you need today. He's able to meet your need. And I want you to get this if you don't get anything else out of what we said today. Jesus loves you. Amen. He loves you. And he loves you just like you are. And this altar is open. Amen. It's been open from the start. It'll be open all the way through. Whatever you need, you come today. At any time. You won't bother us a bit. We'll put the microphone down and pray with you if we need to. And I believe there's some people in this church that will pray with you too. I know you got a great pastor who loves people. Loves his people. Loves to see people saved. That's what it, it's all about. The Bible says, he who wins souls is wise. Amen. we got to tell people about Jesus. How can we hold it back from people? They've got to know this joy and this love and this peace that we have in him. When you find something that good, you've got to share it. Amen. Yeah. But, um, but we love you and appreciate you. We want you to get what God's got for you today. Um, we're going to slow things down a little bit right here. Um, it goes right along with what we've been singing here already today about going home. and You know, this is not home for us. Amen. Where we're going, there is no pandemic. Amen. Where we're going, y'all, let, let me encourage you and remind you today, where we're going, there's no COVID. Amen. There's no sickness in heaven. Amen. There's no separation. For those of you that lost someone maybe during this pandemic, bless your heart. May the Lord comfort you as only He can. Amen. But there's coming a day. We won't be separated anymore. Amen. We'll be together forever. But I want her to do this song right here. It's, it's called Still a Pilgrim. And that's all we are here. We're just here for a short time. I don't know about you, but I'm about to hit 50. And I look back and I think, oh, where did it go? It passes so fast. But one day we'll have all of eternity with Jesus and our loved ones that are there. Amen. Listen to the words of this song. I pray to bless your heart this morning.
feeling? Trying to hear the Holy Spirit. I've never thrown this on Brooke, but I hear this song. There's a song we got to try for them. They won't mind. They love us. <laughs> we mess it up, they won't mind. They got to love us. Amen. They got to love us to get to heaven. So. <laughs> Amen. Um, this is a song that my stepdad wrote uh, many years back. He was an alcoholic and a drug addict. And he wrote the song that we do, Let It Rain. Calls that his testimony song, his song of desperation. But then after the Lord uh, set him free, he wrote this song right here. And it's called, Couldn't Thank You Enough. Such a beautiful song of praise to the Lord. Y'all, no matter how many times we offer up our thanksgiving, it would never be enough for all he's given us. Amen. When times get hard, when you feel like, I don't know if I can make it another mile. I don't know, God, if I can get up today and do it again. Think about what he did for you. Think about how he went all the way to the cross, how halfway there he could have said, I changed my mind, they're not worth it. But he didn't because he loved us that much. So no matter how hard the road gets, I keep reminding myself of that. And I say, God, with all that you've done for me, it's the least I can do to get up and go and try to live a life that would point somebody to you. Are we perfect? Do we do that all the time? No, we don't. But we should strive to. God gave me a message Wednesday night entitled, No Man Left Behind. I preached that Wednesday night. If you've been watching the news in Afghanistan and how they were talking about so many of the men were left behind and they had a military leader on there and he was given, his, uh, he was given an interview and he said, we were trained to never leave a man behind. But yet people were being left. And on the way to church one morning, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, and that's how I want my church trained. No man left behind. That's how it should be. Y'all. We have found the greatest hope. We have found the best thing. It's like this today. If, if you had cancer and they gave you an experimental drug and it worked and you were healed from cancer, would you not share that? You're going to find the next person with cancer. You can't wait to tell them, right? Well, greater than cancer, our world has a sin problem. And we have found the answer to that. And His name is Jesus. How can we not tell somebody else about Him? Amen? How can we not tell somebody else that no matter what you're going through, He will be your peace. He will be the love that you've been looking for. He is your hope. Amen? How can we not share that? But I think of how good He is to me. And I say, Lord, I can never thank You enough for all that You've done for me and who you are to me. Hallelujah.
fallen away. The Bible said in the last days there would be fallen away. There would be many that would just turn from the faith. Chase after all this stuff that people are preaching and teaching that is so contrary from the word of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. There is no other way. So if you've been lied to, let me set the record straight for you right now. There is no other way to heaven. You'll never be good enough to get there. Amen. We were born into sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The word of God tells us. But he made a way. Because he loved us that much. He, he made a way for us. Would you be willing today? If you tried everything else... Why not try Jesus? Amen. This song right here is called Not My Life. Would you be willing to give your life to him today? You say, I made a mess of it because you've been doing it your way all these years. I've been there. Let me save you some heartache. You better get off that path. Give your life to him and let him lead you and guide you. We're in some very dark days, y'all. But one day the trumpet's going to sound. One day we're going to be out of this place. He's coming for us. Amen? If you're not ready, you can be today. I want you to be ready. I don't want you to end up dying and going to hell. I want to tell you the truth. There is a heaven, there is a hell. Hell was not prepared for you. But it does say, for the wages of sin is death. So if we got what we deserved, it would be hell. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Listen to the words of this song. Be open to the Holy Spirit today. If He's talking to you, if He's calling you, you've never, you've never trusted Him with your life today. How about today? I know He's here. I feel a drawing. I feel a pulling. I know He's tugging on some heartstrings today. Would you just listen to me? Hallelujah. Let this song minister to your heart. It's a new day. That's right. 
he's able. He's able to set you free. All you got to do is give it to him. Say, Lord, it's bigger than me. But I want you more than I want this. And I need you to deliver me from this. He is a deliverer. Amen. He's still healing people. He's still saving people. He's still setting people free. He's the same yesterday. Today, he's going to be the same tomorrow. Amen. Amen. But God acts on faith. Put your faith out there and watch him move. But listen to the words of this song. If that's you today, if you need anything from him today, maybe you just walked in and you say, I'm doing the best I know to do to live a Christian life. I pray, I study, I read my Bible. I'm telling you, I, I try to live it in front of people. I attend church regularly. But everything that you can imagine has come at me and my family. And I am so dry today, I can barely lift my hands in praise. If that's you today, God's got something for you. Let him rain on you today. You come to this altar and let us pray with you today. We are our brother's keeper. We are to help you carry that burden to the Lord in prayer. He said, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. We care for you today. I know it gets hard. If you only knew what we have to walk through some weeks to do this every weekend. But it's worth it. It's worth it. But whatever you need today, would you come? Hey, and if you got a lost loved one, like the pastor we were talking today about, um, he was sharing about revival. We both believe there's a major end time awakening revival coming to our land. But it begins with us, the church. Because he said, if my people which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Then, only then, will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. Our land needs healing. We need to cry out for that. You know, the Bible says when we give, he would rebuke the devourer for our sake. Amen. That's pestilences. And I believe that's pestilences, pandemics, viruses, disease. We've been faithful. We can call on His name and remind Him of His word. God, You said You would rebuke the devourer for our sake. Lord, You'll take care of this thing. You'll heal our land if we'll humble, our, humble ourselves and call on Your name and pray. Can we pray for our neighbors? Can we pray for our communities? Can we pray for our nation? Can we pray for our world that are strong We're going to do this song. It's called Let It Rain. Listen, whatever you need today, would you come? And if if you would just be willing, you say, you know what? All is well right now. Everything's going pretty good. Would you just come and pray? Would you just help us pray today? That God will bring healing to our land. That we'll humble ourselves and say, forgive me of my sins, God. Create in me a clean heart. I want clean hands and a pure heart before you, God. Would you come this morning?
Holy Spirit so strong in this place. He came for you today. He came just for you today. As I said before, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You need to understand how much He loves you today. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever will just believe in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus left all of heaven and came here to be a perfect sacrifice who knew no sin but took your sin and my sin on Himself and died a very hard death. And if He had just died on that over the cross, we'd still have no hope. But on the third day, on the third day, He got up. He resurrected. Whatever's dead in your life, the same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that can raise you. He will set you free today. My God, somebody in here needs to know how much you're loved today. Don't worry about what people have told you, what the enemy whispers in your ear. You have been bought with a price. A very high price. You have been fearfully and you have been wonderfully made. He has handpicked you for His kingdom. Handpicked you for a purpose here on this earth. And He loves you today. And He's calling you. Hell was not made for you. There are so many going there daily. But it was not made for them. It was not made for you today. See, He wants all to be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He's calling you today. Like I said before, if you tried everything else, why not try Jesus? You tried everything else and now you've made a mess of your life. I know I've been there. Why not give those broken pieces to Him? He'll put them together again. He'll put you on that wheel. The same one that created you. Even though you might be shattered in several pieces, He'll put you on that potter's wheel and He'll put you back together again. But this time, with His Spirit inside. So you can walk through this world with destiny and purpose. He loves you today. Would you just be willing to pray a prayer with me today? The Bible says, With the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I want to pray a prayer with you today. I don't want to take a chance with somebody leaving this place and not even making it home and then step into all of eternity. Where would you go? Heaven or hell? Because there's nowhere in between. Search yourself today. Do some soul searching. Am I really ready to meet Jesus? Am I ready today? You can be. He's calling you. Would you be willing to pray this prayer with me? If you mean business with God, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I have made a mess of my life. I've been selfish. I've been trying to do it my own way, and it's not working. I've tried many things, and I'm still empty inside. But today, I recognize my need for you, and I thank you for revealing that to me. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Today, I'm going to trust you to be my Savior. I'm going to give my life to you, every piece of it. Put it back together, Lord, and use it for your glory. I'm yours. And I thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're going to do this last song. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it, and you believed in your heart, Praise God for that. But it also says, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. So would you be willing to come today and kneel with this all and let us pray with you? That's letting everybody know, you know what, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. If you don't feel com comfortable coming up here with people praying for you, catch one of us after the service. Let us know, hey, I was one of those. I prayed that prayer today. Let us know that. And if you do, if you do feel comfortable coming, let us pray with you today whatever your need is. And again, I say, Christian friends,
We need to be on the altar. We need to be praying. We need our land healed. And it begins with us. And so many times you go in all these places and you give these invitations and you think, can I just get somebody that will be willing to pray? Brother, you ever felt that? Can I just get some Christians that will plug in with me and pray? Can I just get somebody else that will believe that we serve a God that can heal a nation from a pandemic? If He can part the Red Sea for the children of Israel to, to walk across, you don't think He can get rid of a pandemic for us? He's the same. He can do it. He can do it. But it begins in us and we need to pray. Hallelujah. Come, the altar's open.
and greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord God, I pray that you would help us to overcome our fears, Lord God. Let us use wisdom, Lord God. Let us use grace, Lord God. But Father, Lord God, give us victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for that one that's lost. I pray that you would save them, Lord God. For that one that's backslid, I pray that you would bring them home. God, for that one that marriage is on the rocks, Lord God. For that child that's gone astray, Lord God. For that one that's wrapped up in alcohol and drugs and ungodly things, Lord God. Doing things they know they don't need to be doing. Lord God, I pray that you would go into the highways and the byways and the hedges, Lord. And you would compel them to come in. Lord, let us be your light. Let us be your hands. Let us be your feet, Lord God. Hallelujah. God, I know the reason why Jesus hasn't come back yet. It's because you're not willing that one should perish. But that everyone should come to repentance. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Lord, I
He is here for you. And we're here for you. I'm going to give you just a couple of announcements and then we're going to pray over the food. We're going to dismiss to the back. Please, um, you see the Tyner's table out there? Buy one of everything. <laughs> Let's buy them out. Let's send them home empty handed today. Hallelujah. Amen. They're going to move back to the back in just a little while. We're going to let, we have a table reserved for them. And I'm going to ask the blessing, but then I want all of our seniors and all of those that need assistance, if you got to have somebody to walk with you, um, or if you, um, if you need a cane, we want you to be served first. Because we know you need to sit down and you can't stand as long as some of us can. Amen? And we have plenty of food. We want everybody to be served. Before we take any, um, any, before we let people take um, stuff home with them, unless you got to go, I think we're going to have some carryout plates for those that have to go right away. If you want to go home, that will be available for you. We have soft drinks. We don't have tea today, but I'm um, trying to follow CDC guidelines. But let's um, ask the blessing over the offering, and then again, give me just a few minutes. So we're going to let our seniors get rise up and go get them something to eat, and then let the rest of us go. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this food that we have to bless the congregation of Verbal Church of God and our friends and family. Lord, we pray that you would bless this food to nourish one of our bodies and our bodies to your service. Lord, we thank you for everything that's been done and said here today. Lord, we thank you for the times we ask you to bless their ministry. Lord God, we pray that you would just have your way in everything. And God, we give you the praise and glory and honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would like to give, we have um, set up out there in the foyer and um, under the front porch places where you can put tithes and offerings. If you would like to give to the tithers, if you would like to earmark your check and just put down there for the tithers and tithing and what's are there. So right now, having said the blessing, can I have my seniors to stand? And you know who you are. Yep, Sister Florence, that's you. Bless our heart. We want you to stay. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> we appreciate her and Sister Blaine coming so much. We love them and thank God for them coming. We're going to honor y'all today. We're going to invite y'all to go ahead and, if you will, go up to my, to the side, the door beside the piano. And y'all make your way back. And y'all can make your way back if you can stand it up. We'll let you head on back there and get you some good barbecue. Amen. If you need assistance, I know Sister Linda Westerner is here just recovering from surgery. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. It looks like everybody's making their way. Praise the Lord.
Oh. 